Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I mean, long time no post. I literally haven't posted a video in a couple of months, basically just because I'm like out the swing of it really, but obviously it's isolation now. So I've got a bit more time on my hands and I thought I could make some videos. <laughs> so, ooh, that's not where it was. <laughs> jump straight into it and I guess the main thing is the differences between first year and second year are quite vast to be honest with you so main difference for me has been living situation mean university accommodation that you stay in in first year and then housing for second year so this year I live with five other girls in the most amazing student house I feel like all the houses that I've been to in Newcastle like student houses are really nice so we're very lucky that the house itself is actually a really nice house and um, like I said I'm living with or I lived with five other girls um, whenever I told anyone that they'd always be like oh gosh that's gonna be a bit bitchy and like I understand why people think that like I went through seven years of all girls school and that was a very bitchy place but my second year has been so good like the girls are the most lovely group of girls and we're actually living in the same house with the same group next year so it's worked out really well for us I feel like living in a house is so much more like welcoming and comfortable than like uni accommodation I feel like uni accommodation even if you make your room really nice still doesn't really feel like home whereas in second year I've just felt so much more comfortable in Newcastle it's so nice just to go into the kitchen and there's always someone to chat to and we're all just like so close so for me my second year living situation has worked out really well so in first year we actually signed for our house for second year literally in like October or November we did it so early I feel like it depends on the uni but everyone in Newcastle seems to sign for their houses around like October November time which is really scary when you think about it because in first year like the friends you make in your first term may not be your friends like throughout the rest of the year and throughout your uni experience but I just got really lucky that the friends I made are just the loveliest people ever so it's worked out really well but I know a lot of people have like struggles in their second year house because they realize they're not as close with people as they think so I guess for some people maybe third year accommodation and living in a house in third year is better than second year but for me it's worked out super well so I really can't complain. Definitely given my situation in first year um, I actually lived in two different uni accommodations because the first accommodation and people were not just not my vibe <laughs> so um, I'm really happy with my living situation this year. I'm very sad that the year has been cut short but obviously what can you do? <laughs> so another big difference between second year and first year for me has been going out in first year I literally went out like three times a week and now in second year I go out like once or twice a week and to be honest if that like there have been quite a few weeks where I just haven't gone out at all to be honest with you but it's just been nicer because I feel like you're more established in your like friendship group so you don't feel the need to like constantly be going out um I just think also where we live in Newcastle is slightly further out so going out is a lot more effort to get into the town centre and stuff like that um I'm definitely not complaining I feel like it's been a lot nicer and more chill this year like honestly I do not know how I went out three times a week like when I get a hangover now it's just like it's just not nice so I'm kind of happy with how much we've been out though to be honest I feel like we only really go to like maybe two different clubs and we're in Newcastle so like there's so much more that we could do but I guess like you just kind of get into your habits and whatever so maybe in third year we'll try and change it up but I feel like we said that for the second semester and we literally still went to the same places so love that so something that's been really nice this year has been going to house parties because obviously in first year you maybe go to pre-drinks at other people's flats but like house parties weren't really a big thing but obviously in second year everyone's like so excited that they've moved into a house and it's been really fun going to house parties it's just I guess something different from going out and I feel like there's a lot of house parties going on we've had a couple at our house and they always turn into really weird nights to be honest with you I'm not sure why you know it's just good fun it's been like nice doing something different from just going to a club and things like that I feel like with everything that I'm saying I've realized like how good my second year was the main thing that I'm annoyed about is how it's been cut short like I'm actually so sad about it I feel like the summer term of uni is just always the best time because even though you have like loads of exams and assignments it's like you can go to like beer gardens and then there's all the celebrations afterwards and like balls and things like that and it's really sad that we've missed out on it but like I feel really bad for third years I think that must be so terrible to be in a situation where you don't get to like celebrate the end of uni with your friends so I can't complain too much I suppose <laughs> in terms of like uni life sports and societies and stuff I feel like in first year I didn't do that much I wrote for the student newspaper but that was pretty much is that all I did? Oh, I did do drama in first year, which I haven't actually done in second year. And hopefully in third year, I'm gonna audition just to like audition. Cause I'm thinking like in my life, I'm not gonna go into drama. Like I'm not gonna be an actress. So I'm a bit like, if I don't audition next year, that's probably gonna be the last like play that I'll ever do, which is kind of like 
a bit weird to think about. This year I feel like I've been more involved in like uni life so I play for a um, netball team, it's just like a casual netball team, I'm not, I'm not good at sport. <laughs> um, I am the fashion editor of the student paper which has just been a really nice experience, I feel like I've met a lot more people through doing that like on the paper and people who also want to be journalists so I'm really happy with that and hopefully I'm going to kind of stay involved in student life next year because obviously it's third year and I feel like I want to just throw myself into everything at uni whilst I can though knowing me I feel like it's all well and good saying that now and then I'll get back to third year and do just the same things as I always do <laughs> but fingers crossed I feel like I need to actually talk about what university is about which is the course that you study and getting a degree um so I loved my course in first year to be honest with you um I was considering dropping out in first year I don't know if I've ever mentioned that and the only thing that really kept me there was that I loved the course and then obviously everything else has just become amazing since then so everything's worked out for a reason but yeah in second year I've really enjoyed my course still like I've got to choose more modules this year so I chose four and then I had two compulsory ones so my first term was really busy because I had four modules and then this term I had three which in terms of like coronavirus and stuff has worked out well that I have less work to do this term so that's quite nice um again I've just really enjoyed everything I've done I also have like more established friends on my course which is really nice it's just nice having people that like you can turn to if you've got questions about assignments and stuff because in first year I did struggle to kind of like make friends on the course just because lacking a lot of confidence and things like that so I'm very happy with how the course has been going in terms of modules um I've done what did I do in the first term I did advertising and consumption I did journalism then we had this representations module and then research methods and then this term I've still had research methods and also conflict and crisis reporting and celebrity culture that's my third module I think I'm currently sitting on a first so that's what I got in the first semester I think but obviously with coronavirus and everything going on our uni has introduced a safety net policy which is so so good so, so it basically means that um whatever we get in semester two will only raise our grade so basically the grade that we end up with in semester one is like our baseline grade and anything else is just going to go higher than that so if we do really badly in this semester's assessments it won't count towards our degree so i think i'm on a first if that's the case but i'm not quite sure i definitely am like on the borderline between a two one and a first so who knows but fingers crossed it's a first because that makes my life a lot easier <laughs> Um, uni have been reasonably good about everything to do with coronavirus which is very nice and it just like takes a bit of weight off of our shoulders and to my knowledge I think all my lecturers aren't really doing lectures they're just going to be really active on their emails if you have questions about the assessments which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I feel like I'd like the lectures to have some structure but I don't really know I feel like it's more important to focus on the assessments at the moment but it's just it's just a really weird time to be a student and I do really feel like people who are in first year have had their first year of uni cut short because this summer term is genuinely the best time of uni and we're not getting it which really really sucks but yeah to be honest like all in all I feel like I've been very blessed with my second year of uni because my first year was so sort of up and down and I really didn't enjoy it up until like February to be honest with you and now that my second year has been good I do feel very just like blessed and lucky to be in such an amazing uni and I have the amazing friends and it's just it's all worked out really well for me I mean the second semester of second year has kind of been a bit of a weird one I was actually away for a week when it was exams because I didn't have any exams so I went to Madrid to see my parents and then I was away for two weeks in February also because I had work experience at a fashion magazine and it was just something I couldn't turn down and it was based in London so I lived in my family home for that. I kind of am sad that I missed so much uni in the second semester and now that the like summer term isn't happening I feel like I was I feel like I wasn't really there in the second semester which is kind of sad but it's just circumstantial and you know it's just opportunities that I really wanted to take so I can't really complain. Um, for third year I'd love to just kind of throw myself more into uni and really like appreciate the experience because it's going to go so quickly but you know, I mean, I don't know. I feel like when I get there, I'm just going to do the same things I always do. So we will see. But it would be nice to sort of like throw myself into things a little bit more, you know. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. I'm definitely going to be making way more content in the upcoming weeks because obviously I have quite a lot of time on my hands. I feel like I need structure. I'm not very good at just sort of doing nothing. I like having things to do, which in this instance, it's not really ideal. So um, yeah, definitely way more stuff to come. So yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.